Okay, we're quickly going to go over how to create barcodes. To do that, you need an Excel file, which has got your product, description, any other information, and the stock numbers you've been allocated. So if you start at 10,000 or 20 or 30 or 100,000, whatever it is, that's what you have. And you just have the other information you want to put on the label. Now, the other important thing is, if you're looking at the instructions file that I sent, the instructions must be the second tab, and the actual barcode information or the information you want to put on the labels is going to be your first tab. So you need to have that before you start. So we're going to close that out. Then we're going to go to avery.com, Avery Design and Print. And we're going to start a new project. And then we're going to choose a label type. So you have to start by choosing a label. We're going to choose 51, uh, 60. Okay, nice small labels. You get a lot of them. You can choose whichever label you like. Just make sure that it's a label you actually have. We're going to just select the blank design. And then over here, we're going to import data. And we're obviously going to import that file that we had to start off with. I just called it ski sample file. Okay. Get rid of the first line because we don't need that. Get rid of all this other size information. We don't need that. We don't need um, any other information. We do need to keep the stock number. We do need to keep whatever information we want. So we go over there and put product. And you can arrange this however you want, right? You can put... Uh, Price next, I don't know, put description, um, it's whatever, however you want to do it. Okay, we're going to put a little dollar sign over here to make it easy for people to see. You notice we do not put the barcode in. Okay, we go next, finish. Okay, now we go more, we select QR codes, we select add a barcode or QR code. We're going to do it from the spreadsheet and we're going to select code 39 okay code 39 now before you do anything you have to uncheck use check digit we're going to then change the x dimension to 15 to make it big enough to scan nicely then you drag the stock number in okay that makes a stock number for you if you don't do this stuff first it'll come up with an error message saying that it can't create the code or something like that so make sure to do that Always leave display text below code visible so we can see the barcode that was used. You finish it, then you have to just arrange this on your label however you like. I really recommend making it as big as is convenient, and then you're done. You arrange it how you like, bearing in mind people have to see it. I'm going to ignore that. There are my barcodes. You can now print these in your laser printer, just making sure that you have the right format of barcode sorry, excuse me, the right format of label so that it prints nicely. Otherwise, it's going to be a complete disaster and then you're done.